This video demonstration is brought to you by Heart Internet, the UK's number one reseller hosting company. Hi there, Craig from Heart Internet here. Setting up your mailbox in Outlook is nice and easy, but I'm here to help run you through the process just in case you've been having any trouble at all. I'm running Outlook 2010 here. Don't worry if you're running a different version of the software because the setup procedure is almost identical across all versions. Our first step is to hit the File tab in the top left hand corner and then we're going to press the Add Account button here. If you're having trouble getting to this screen, don't worry. You can also do so from your control panel and I'll show you how to do that now. First of all, just open your Start menu and then select Control Panel and then select the Mail option. Your control panel might appear slightly different to mine but you will still definitely have the Mail option. OK, we want to select the Email Accounts button and then we want to hit new. And as you can see, we've been taken through to exactly the same screen. I'm going to close these windows now so we can get back to setting up your mailbox. OK. First of all, we're going to select manually configure server settings or additional server types. And then we're going to hit next. We're going to leave the internet email options selected and hit next. And here we're presented with a number of fields to fill in. First of all, just enter your name as you'd like it to appear in emails that are sent by you. So I'm going to be set setting Craig Cotter. Next, we just enter the email address that we're setting up today, and I'm setting up mail at craigcotter.co.uk. Next, we need to select our account type. We can choose between POP3 and IMAP. POP3 downloads all the mail on the server to your computer and then by default deletes all the mail it downloaded from the original server. IMAP on the other hand leaves all the mail on the server and it will only delete mail when you specifically choose to do so. You can also arrange your mail into different folders on the server if you use the IMAP service. So for now I'm going to select IMAP. Under the incoming mail server field we enter mail craigcotter.co.uk By default, your mail server will also use exactly the same format, that's mail.yourdomain.com.net.co.uk and we also use exactly the same for our outgoing mail server, so mail.craigcotter.co.uk The username it takes exactly the same form as our email address, so it's mail at craigcotter.co.uk Then we enter our mailbox password and we check over the settings and we're happy that we've got those correct so the next step is to hit the more settings button OK, we want to go to the outgoing server tab and select my outgoing server requires authentication OK, if you're using POP3 at this point, you probably want to check the Advanced tab because there'll be options to leave mail on the server after downloading it. It's very important if multiple people are accessing the same mailbox or if you're trying to access it through multiple devices. But we're setting up IMAP so we can ignore that for the second and we're going to hit OK. And we also want to ensure that Require Login using Secure Password Authentication is disabled because otherwise you'll get some certificate errors and it might not work. So we're happy with everything there. So we hit next and it'll run a little test for us. OK, that's completed successfully. So we hit close and the mailbox is now set up. OK, if you have any trouble at all during the process, if you run into any errors, make sure you take a full note of them and you can always contact our support team. They'll be glad to help you out. 